Describing and music give a something chemical reaction in your mind. There's a, a, a natural combination of those two things. That's why we need the music. In, in the car, we need a groove. For example, 30 years ago, we just had a car radio. Car radio doesn't reproduce the bass sound. Bass sound is very necessary for the music. It's very difficult to make all those different musical sounds in a car. Because cars are space constrained. So a car is actually a, an acoustically hostile place. After a few years of trying out different design, I heard about acoustic waveguide technology that Bose has developed. Is to think about organ pipes. It's a long, thin thing. But integrating this pipe into a car. All engineers at Mazda and even at the board's believed that's not possible. Except one person, Mike Rosen. Well, to audio engineers, that's a challenge that we just couldn't leave on the table. We became brothers in mind. It was almost as though we had been two friends who just hadn't met yet. And we began to work on the RX-7. Mazda had put a value on each gram of weight. <laughs> and they said, please, as you design, save us every gram that you can. Certainly a challenge in this system was that a waveguide is uh, a long, uh, big thing. The main question was, uh, how can we shrink the 3.6 meter long pipe that it will fit into car? We have to fold it. Bending, bending, bending. We said, you know what, yeah, we can do that. And that turned out to be a great solution for the RX-7. The waveguide technology in the RX-7 made music effortless. And when it had to have impact, uh, boy, did it. I'm very much proud. I started such a kind of a long relationship between the Bose and the Mazda. There was a great natural chemistry between the Mazda team members and the Bose team members from the very first meeting right up to the present day. It's been a great journey.